Good evening, my viewers. This is George Ondek on location in Peekskill, New York, and I'm in front of a fine organization, the Elks Club of Peekskill. I'm a member of the Elks, and tonight, today, Frank Sucks Catalina is having the celebration of him becoming mayor of Peekskill along with the other elected officials, and I feel it's going to be a great day. It's Peekskill, New York, the Elks Club a fine civic organization, and our deputy mayor is just going by. How are you doing, Miss Deputy Mayor? Very good, thank you. I hope we can work for the betterment of Peekskill, and I'm sure we will. Take care, Drew. I would like at this time to introduce to you Mr. Raymond Matheson, exalted ruler of the Peekskill Elks Lodge. I want to wish everybody a happy new year and welcome you all to the Peace School Lodge of Elks. It's very cold outside and I'm very pleased at the turnout. Uh, now to, uh, have a good time today. Enjoy everything. Congratulations to our new mayor and brother Frank. Good luck to you in the future. And I hope 2014 is a better and prosperous year for everybody. And I'll turn it up back over to P.E.R. Ed Schubert. It gives me a great deal of pleasure now to introduce to you uh, a person who was a restaurateur, and if I keep speaking too much longer, he's going to tell you he had hair before I started. <laughs> uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the prayer of Mr. Dutch Trepto. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America. And to the Republic for which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dutch. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We ask the Lord's blessing on all in this room, their family and friends, all the citizens of Peekskill and beyond. We also ask the Lord's blessing on our new mayor, and all elected officials. May his mighty hand guide them in their future endeavors. We this time must remember our veterans, those that have served our country, and especially we must remember those that have made this a supreme sacrifice for our great nation. We remember those who are currently in the service of our country. They are away from their families and loved ones for the holidays. May the Lord bless them and keep them safe as they protect our shores and firesides. We end by saying, Bless us, our Lord, and these thy gifts from which we are about to receive, from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless the United States of America. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you and bring to the podium uh, our new mayor, the Honorable Frank Catalina. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to say anything here, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I assured, I just want to thank uh, Deputy Mayor Claxton and um, the Democratic uh, Councilwomen and men for being here and sharing this as a bipartisan celebration of a new beginning of Peekskill. Um, it's really important, it was really important to me to put the uh, divisiveness of the last election season behind us and start the new year off on the right note. So uh, thank you all for being here, and um, uh, God bless America. Thank you. Now, I just want you to know that this was a free event, but we are holding the hat out on the way out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. We are. The, uh, the food was donated by our local restaurants, so um, ask which one, if you like something, ask where it came from and please support them. Um, also, we just want to uh, thank Joyce Trepto and, and wish her the best on her 86th birthday. So, and, I, and I'm told that Walter, our resident baker, has done an outstanding job with a special creation uh, when he brings it out. So I invite everybody to eat, drink, and be merry. And thanks again for being here.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Bon appetit. And I'm thirsty. We're here at the Elks Club in Peekskill. I'm a member of the Elks, and I'm here with a Tino Di Pateria. And Tino, your family's pretty famous in this area because they feed a lot of people, from what I understand. They do, they do. Um, actually, my brother's the owner of uh, Little Sorrento's and uh, Piazza Roma. Wow, and I hear a new one's coming on. Yes, and they're opening a new restaurant called Savannah's. Savannah's. Yes, and it's on the, in Yorktown on 202. But I don't want to be given plugs here. The real reason you're here today is it, Frank Catalina has just become mayor of Peekskill. Yes. Do you feel that's a step in the right direction and a new direction for Peekskill? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I know Frank for uh, most of my life. Uh, it's been actually 40 years that I've been here in this country. Wow. What part of Italy from? I should ask you this. What part of the boot are you from? What kind of part of the boot? In the middle. See, not the George on deck, but Giorgio on deckio. You didn't know I'm here under yeah. here as an alias. Alias. No. Uh, I'm, com I'm come uh, near Naples. It's a, a small town called Santa Croce de Sanio. It's in the Campania region. And uh, we settled here in, uh, in Peekskill. Uh, 40 years ago. Wow. Uh, yeah. Your sister, right? Little Sorrento's, or was it just Sorrento's then? Oh, my, my uh, sister-in-law's restaurant. It used to be Sorrento's. Right. Uh, originally, it was in the Peekskill Riverfront, uh, near the train station. Okay, so it's her family. It's very nice talking to you today. Yes. And I hear you know about a good restaurant in New York City named Rayo's. Uh, one of you and I got to go there one of these days and have well, a that, steak together. Or whenever something. you're available. I don't okay. know about steak, but thank Italian you. food. Well, whatever, Italian food. Okay, thank <laughs> you, right, sir. Thanks. Thank We're here at Frank Catalina's celebration, and I'm very proud to have the mother and Miss Cinco de Mayo with me, a uh, Pizzco residents of Spanish descent. Where are you from? Uh, my family's from Puerto Rico. And you're from Port, uh, Puerto Rican descent. Yes. How did you like being elected Miss Cinco de Mayo? Oh, well, you know, I was very surprised, um, very honored. And, well, we um, can see why you were voted. You're very pretty. You have a beautiful you. smile. Thank you. And I bet your mom and dad are very proud of your daughter. Oh, yes, I'm very, very, very proud of her. Not only is she Miss Cinco de Mayo, she's a very good student. Well, that's good at Peekskill High School. Frank. No, uh, she goes to Miss Gibbs. She goes to the College of Saint Rose. Mike. You're... Oh. Okay, that's okay. She's a student okay. at the Do College of. Okay. She's a student where? At the College of Saint Rose. Okay, thank you very much. Thank it was nice so having much. you on the George On Deck show. I know you're going to represent Miss Pete, Miss. Cinco de Mayo. Well, for the next year in Thank Pisco. You very and who much. is this lovely lady over here? Come over here. And right here. I, am I, I, I now have two more beautiful women with you. Thank who is you. this one? I'm Teresa Chang. I am the pageant director for Peekskill Pageants, and I run the Miss Italia Peekskill Pageant. When will the Miss Italia Peekskill Pageant be? It will. It, we actually just had it in November, and it will be on next October, November. And who is this beautiful this young lady with you? I'm Little Miss Italia Peekskill. You're Little Miss Italia? How old are you? I'm nine years old. And what's your name? Jennifer Morris. I bet you're very honored to be Miss Little uh, Italy today. And Little Miss Italia Peak Skill, yes. And okay. so you're here at a fine event today? The, uh, yes, celebration, celebration of, of Frank Catalina yes, being the, the mayor. Yes, the new mayor, yes. Okay, it was nice having nice you on the George you. On Deck show, well, and nice having you, Little Miss Italy. Thank you. Is thank that, you. Did I get it right? Yes, Miss Italia. Okay, yes. thank, thank you. you. I am now with the new First Lady of Peekskill, Miss Fran Catalina. How are you doing? Thank you, George, and I'm honored to be called the mayor's mother. Well, not only called it, but you are the mayor's <laughs> mother. You're the one who helped grow him up to be the fine person he is today. It wasn't easy. Because I remember that heartwarming <laughs> story he told me of him going to school, to Assumption School, and knocking on the window because you were the operator in the telephone company. Is that true? He wanted to come in and get warm. He wanted to get warm. <laughs> and come and, in and meet his mother. And I hear you come from a fine family who volunteered at the VA hospital. I'm a veteran. 
And did somebody in your family volunteer for My mother years? was on the ambulance corps, and she also once a week went down to the VA to sell for the, the uh, veterans. And my father was in the police, a fire department for many, many wow. years. So they do a lot, did a lot of government We're all service. Old, and uh, my young guy, in fact, Frank started as a big brother many years ago. Right, right. You know, we do volunteer. I volunteer at the hospital. Right. The, the club, Hudson the Christmas, yes. Uh -huh. The uh, Christopher but Columbus. But are you proud of your son today? You seem to be bubbling. I'm so proud and of him. And how does a he young lady like it. you have a son who's uh, in his 50s? You can't be a day over 39. Oh, thank and you. And there he is <laughs> telling you to be quiet. I mean, I'm very proud of my son. He has worked very hard for the city of Peekskill. Yes, and he will continue to and work for the best interests of all the people. It right? was a wonderful morning at his swearing in, yes. plus all the other people that got sworn in today. Yes. And I'm so proud of my son. And you should be, and he should be very proud of you, because he, you grew up a fine son like him. And did he have brothers and sisters? Yes, his brother's here right now today. He came in from Pennsylvania. Um, and, and you have some very fine grandchildren. Oh, they're too. beautiful. One's working in his office as a lawyer. I, I ha that's Andrea, the oldest. I have five grandchildren, wow. two by one son and three by Frank. And they are so proud of their father. Okay, they, I want to thank They all worked very hard on the campaign. Fr Fran, I want to thank you very much. And uh, it's an honor to have you as the first lady. Oh, Thank you, George. And, and you kept your promise. What was my promise? That I will finally get on the show. See that? Because I saw on other show. TV shows, they wouldn't let you speak. <laughs> Even your son, as he was going by, that was... <laughs> they never know what I'm going to say. Oh, well, you always say the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Go. Go. Just like that? Geo. Like uh, listen, it, it, first of all, Happy New Year to everybody. First day of 2014. And for me personally, it was a very... Um, Emotional day and great yes. day. It was 32 years ago today that I was sworn in to uh, the city council in Peekskill. 32 years, I was like, oh my God, where'd the time go? And uh, here I am today swearing in my son as a city councilman Vinny, in Peekskill. I almost had a tear in my eye seeing you so emotional as you were swearing in Well, it was, in like I son. said, it was a pretty emotional day, but uh, I'm very proud of him. Uh, my wife Patty and I are very proud of him, and uh, I have no doubt he's going to do a great job for the citizens of Peekskill. It's, right. it's not an easy job. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of uh, hard work. You've and got to have an open mind. You've got to be able to be, listen to people and, 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 uh, and make good, solid judgments. Uh, because every judgment you make, every decision you make, is going to have an impact on the community. And Vinny, wouldn't it be great if, as for the best interests of the city, the Democrats work with Mr. Catalina oh, sure. on making this a better well, city? Well, you know, look, you've got, you've got divided government now, and that yes. you've got Democrats and Republicans on the city right, council. Right. That's no different from when we were first right, elected right. to the city council in 1982. Right. Uh, we also had Democrats and Republicans on the council, on the, and we worked together. I see on so. the county level and on the state right. level, Democrats and Republicans are working together, and it can happen in Peachkill. It can happen so. in Peachkill. Everybody's got to put their political agendas on the side and their personal agendas on the side. Side. They can't be individually agenda driven. They have to be mission driven. Right. And the mission is to make this community the best it could possibly be. And make Peatskill the best it could possibly be. That's it. I was very Happy New Year. today on the George On Deck Show once again to Thank have you. Vinny Vesey, the great ex mayor and friend of George E. Pataki's. Where's Georgie today, Bob? Uh, I, I think he he's upstate. I know he is he upstate. Would, he would have been here yes, otherwise. Yes, he would have. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Michael Johnston. He's my best friend of over 35 years. My law school roommate, I would not have made it through law school without Who was Mike. that again? Again, we missed that. Uh, Michael Johnston. Your best friend? He's from Milford, Connecticut. He's my best friend of 35 years. My law school roommate, I would not have made it through law school without Mike's constant encouragement. Frank. He studied seven, eight hours a day and encouraged me to do the same. And without his encouragement, I would not have been here. And, and I'm glad to see where you've made it to. Right. But I heard it was through a lot of encouragement of a lot of the people of Peatskill that you've become mayor today. Can you believe they gave me the keys to City Hall? <laughs> I heard that you tapped the right people and the right people who felt we needed a change in government in Peatskill, well, a change in direction. Everybody in Peatskill that I spoke to 
said it's time to turn the page and move forward and uh, with change, and that's what we're going to do. But the nicest thing today was that when I saw the gleam in your mother's eye that she was so proud of you, the boy who used to go by her office uh, at the telephone company and knock on the window and say, hi, Mom, on Mom, his way to Assumption School. She's my mother. She's supposed to be proud of me. <laughs> yes. and I see mothers in court every day where sons are arrested. They're still proud of their sons. That's what mothers do. Mr. But Cowley. I'm very lucky to have my mother. She, she did everything, sacrificed for me, and she's been the best. And you have a great family, children as well as grandchildren. Yes. You have a lovely daughter who works with you in your office. Yep. And uh, your son's a great guy, too. Why don't They're you ask all... Mike some questions about my background and Mike, how, let's how hear... he's known me, some of the funniest things that we've done together. Yeah, let's together. hear some funny things, Mike. On camera? You want these? <laughs> I, I, I'm not... yeah, but it got to be GP rated, not R or anything else, okay? I, uh, well, I, I will say that after today, the man you see before you today, Frank, a little larger than life, he's been that same Frank since the first day I met him in law school. And I don't think he'll change. I only I, I, know him slightly, but I've known him for over 20 years, and he's always been a good guy, <clears throat> nice smile, and very intelligent. Yeah. I have a place in Naples, Florida, and we go every year with guys from law school. We get together, and Mike Johnson, the first thing he wants to do is find out where the nearest Catholic church is. So he goes to church every day, right. 9 o'clock And I hear the Assumption Church is a pretty good church in, in Peekskill. I that's, don't know if that's the one Assumption, you go to. Assumption is my church. Way to and, go, uh, Father But Higgins. Mike keeps me on, the, on my toes, even on vacation. It's important to go out and have a good time, but it's also important to get up and be at Mass. Right, but Mike? your direction as, as for you Peekskill, Mr. Mayor, um, do you hope that in the best interests of all the people, all the parties work together on the council for the best interests of the people. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. Without, without their support, we can do nothing. And we're not going to put anything forward that's not in the city's best interest. And Frank, you don't know this, but you achieved my dream. Because 23 years ago, I ran for mayor of Pete's You did. Got 43% of the vote, and no oh one knew God. me. But you've achieved what I gave up on, so I really congratulate you, Mr. Well, Cowley. Thank you very much. And good luck in your administration. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. sir. Thank you. I'm now with Larry Gomez, a person who was a close friend of Frank Catalina's, and I think he helped a little bit out in his campaign. Well, Frank, also a former councilman. And a former councilman. For 10 years, yes. And weren't you deputy mayor? Too? No, 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 no. Just w councilman was for 10 under, years. Um, uh, that was with Mayor Gibbs, Mayor Vesey, and Mayor Jackson, all okay. three. So what do you see on the future of Peekskill now? Do you see a new direction? Well, no, I, I think, you know, uh, the people of Peekskill have spoken, and I think that Frank Catalina ha is going to reach across the aisle. I mean, I know the does. whole agenda is to do what's right for Peekskill, to keep the tax base steady, to try and bring in new development, make things happen so that the people that are paying taxes now, their taxes don't increase, but we get tax revenue from the new development coming that in. That would be great. So that you would, know, that would you be know, the best I thing to happen. I feel all along that Peekskill has needed a major store, a, a big box store, let's say. Well, you know, if they come and they're interested and we be, have the room. It would pre provide a lot of jobs, lower the tax base. All those and, things are good, George, but you, everything's got to be a balance. Right. Balance, big box with the little stores we have downtown, right, right. with the restaurants we have downtown, integrate the Paramount, the artists, yes. all those things that uh, Mayor Catalina talked about and his running mates, Joe and, and, and Vinny. And if all those things can happen and they work closely with the Democrats and they can make all the things happen that everybody wants and, and just keep making peace go forward. Gomez. It's a great city, George. I know. You know, we love it. I'm you know? proud of it. You My know, wife I, and I almost went to West Palm Beach, but after three months, we came back. Uh, there's a reason. I love the Four Seasons. I love the little town. There you town. go. There you go. But so, one final thing. Yes. Do you think it's important? And especially they should have gotten a message, the Democrats in Pete Skill, that three of them who were elected were voted out, that they should work in unity well, I think with they the will. new men. George, I think they will. I think when you, having served on the council, when you have 98% of the things 
are just right for everybody, and they're going to they're going to have their disagreements. They may yes. not agree on a big box store like you're saying, okay, uh, but you know maybe there'll be a compromise. You know, and I hate that compromise. word, big box store. Yeah, too. I mean, so you know, it's and jobs is an important thing to bring right. and to keep. You know, New York State has lost another 1.2 million jobs. I saw that. So uh, in the paper, I was reading that. So I mean, the whole idea is to keep people here, create jobs for young people and create an atmosphere for people to live, work, and play. And people should realize, too, that two years go by very quickly. Right. And if people don't do the right thing from Pete's skill... Right. Well, uh, I think they will. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I do, I, too. I, today's not a day to talk politics, right, George. Right. Today's a day Larry, of celebration. And what do you think it is a, tremendous... And everybody. What do you think it is oh, tremendous... Game dinner. Larry, okay. what do you think it is tremendous crowd that's turned out for, for uh, the, the mayor? I just think it's, well, it's for the mayor and everybody. We invited both the Democrats and the right, mayor and all right, the councilmen. Right. This is just people in Pete's who care. People who are involved in family members. And, you know, and, and it's Mr. all Gomez, good. I it's like all where good, it's George. being held, too. You don't know Well, this, this building, but if, I I could put a, if I could put a plug in for the Elks yes, Club here. you go right ahead. We're always looking for new members. Right. This building is over 100 years old. And I think one of George's next shows should be a show on the Elks Club and what it does. And we'll give you a tour of the building and what we do and the charities that we support. Larry, you, and we're always looking for new young members and old members to how come back and do things. Who have been members up in your town? Well, transfer well, transfer in, demit over. We'll okay. take you in. Okay. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you. And this is a civic organization. Right. It is not a social organization. Right. It's civic, and we, we give back to the community. Okay. Thank Just you, like Mr. Larry Gold. Right. I'm near the end of the Frank Catalina celebration here at the Elks Club, and we found, found one of the world-renowned entertainers from Peekskill, New York, my kind of town, Doug Ferroni. How you doing? Doug? I'm good, George. How you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, and you're looking younger and handsomer every time I see you. I'm following your lead. <laughs> I wish, I wish, but following my lead. So how's gigs going lately? Things are going you're good. Are you uh, at anybody, any place nearby in the near future? Yes, I'm doing some uh, local private events, and last night we had a big show at Maggiano's in Hackensack, New Jersey. Oh, Maggiano's. Uh, yes. That's a fine Irish restaurant. Well, <laughs> they, like to, they like to think they're more Italian, of oh. course. I was just kidding. I know you are. I know. With your old buddy Giorgio Ondecchio. That's right, Giorgio. Hey, how about that song we consorted together where I did the words and you did the oh, music? Oh, yeah. Pete Skill, Pete Skill my, my kind, kind of town. town. Yeah. The kind of town that Frank Catalina will not let go down. That's, That's right. right. You got it. Am I a poet or a songwriter and didn't even know it? Yeah. <laughs> Muhammad Ali was around. You can learn from you. Oh, don't compare <laughs> me with Muhammad Ali. Now. Uh -huh. I want to thank you very much. Thank Doug you, George. Ferroni from Peekskill, New York, my hometown. Take care. We got a lot of gentle people there. That's oh, another song yeah. we could sing. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Doug. That's pretty I'm, cool. I'm near the end of the show, uh, the George On Deck show, the Frank Catalina celebration, our new mayor, and I have our fine county legislator with me, John Testa. How are you doing, John? Great, George. Thank you for having me, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and your wife. Thank and you. How do you feel the direction of Peekskill is going to go now that Mr. Catalina is the mayor? Well, we took a giant step forward today, and they're in the proper direction, and I'm happy for that, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of the ceremony today. I'm, it's great to be here at the Elks, who are hosting this event. I'm a member of, of the Elks uh, here in Peekskill, as my grandfather was. So it's kind of an honor to be John, continuing on know here. It. I am an elk, but I've got to transfer over to Peekskill. You better. I'm an elk in another town. Well, that doesn't count. you got to be This is my <laughs> hometown, right, John? <laughs> That's right. But I think you are, you're working for Mr. Uh, Rob Astorino, a fine county legislature. He's later. the county executive. I'm, I'm a member of the board. I don't work for him. We work together. <laughs> Uh, we're two le two different levels of government. Wait but up, he's the county executive. Yeah, yeah. that's correct. We're but a different I, level, but I that's good. We, in a few days, you may have some... Well, I will be part of the leadership of the board going forward this term. We're making a formal announcement within the next couple of days, okay. so stay tuned for that. Okay, but I'm proud of you, that opportunity. Tester, thank you. And who's this fine gentleman over here? Well, you know who I am, Chris, George. Chris, I yeah. feel so bad you didn't win this year. You came close... But a few more people should have been a little more intelligent and put you in, too, because it would well, have been a lot easier for our mayor. Yeah, well, I just hope this council, which comprises of four Democrats and three Republicans, gets behind on that. 
I, I hope so too. Uh, and I do think that while they will probably agree to disagree at various levels, uh, I do think that they will, uh, and I, it's my hope that they'll be able to accomplish more by part, in a bipartisan and way. And it's than, my than hope as, a, as of 25 years, citizen of Peatskill, that they work together and do the things that are best for Peatskill citizens. Mr. Chris Hanslick, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And keep hitting them softballs up there for society. Hey, Little League, Little League season's right around the corner, and so I'll soft, be a busy boy. So. Softball League, too. Where Absolutely. You, where you do the running for me when I do a hit, right? In the sounds, sounds good, George. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you, thank you, John. Thank, thank you. you. Again, near the close, Peter Di De Piterio. Di Paterio. How are you I'm doing? I'm leaving at 1335 for me in the street. What part of the boot are you from? Oh, Benevento. Oh, okay. Benevento. Yeah. I hear you're in the restaurant business. In the restaurant because I had been my nephew. Who's your nephew? Oh, my nephew is Paolo Di Paterio, Alele Sorrento. Oh, okay. Ecco. And what do you think of our new mayor, uh, Frank oh, Catalina? I'm a very happy to come a new mayor because I hope that everything will work very good. So, guys, remember, you got to go to his restaurant and have good Italian food. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm very proud now to have one of our new councilmen, Mr. Joe Torres, a man who's worked in Peatskill and owned the company for over 30, 30 years. years that's correct, How yeah. do you feel the direction of Peatskill is going to go now? Well, I hope we can definitely make a difference. Um, you know, right now we don't know. It's a first time in. And, uh, you know, they did pick their own deputy mayor. Now, we didn't have now, mayor. We do hope yeah. the Democrats will get together with Frank and you to do the things that are in the best interest of, the of city. all the citizens, yeah, we, we like no the matter city. what party. Listen, okay. no matter what party, you know, it'd be good if we can all work together and do the best we can for the city because, you know, that's what we're here for. And you what know? they should realize, too, is yeah. that two years go by very, very quickly. Very quickly, correct, yes. And if people don't work for the best interests of the citizens of the city. Of city of Peatskill, they will be voted out of office. Yes, you know, and I, I hope they, I mean, today was kind of a little bit, they kind of, you know, picked their own deputy mayor, which I thought was wrong. You know, I was kind of surprised, yeah. Mr. Torres. I heard never in the history of never Peace history. before yeah. did the mayor not get to pick his own person to be Drew deputy mayor. Drew picked herself as deputy mayor. And, well, you know, we kind her of, and the yeah. other three council so I, I just believe And that. I was quite shocked, because all I hear is they wanted to work with unity yeah. with you. Well, you know, by doing this, I just feel they were kind of saying, we don't want to work with you, we're going to do what we're going to do. Well, but, you, you know, know what? The day, there's, so we'll there's, yeah. there's citizens advocates who come to your city council meeting, yeah. as you know, yes. and I think they will not stop now if they don't see the best things well, you know, I just, you know, I hope school. things will change, but, you know, by what they did today, I thought it was a little bit you know, just saying we're not going to work with you. about a judge. Yeah, that was and a judge they picked, too. and we had that was purely political. We had no opportunity to interview anybody that was up for a judge. And you know, even this uh, Reggie Johnson might be the nicest guy in the world. He seems like a nice, a very guy, nice man. Right? I mean, I, I met him once or twice. But the, the point is, you know, we asked for who they interviewed. They couldn't give us any paperwork. Okay. So you know, I just. Well, let's not get into politics, yeah, politics today. Yeah. Look right. forward to seeing you at the council meeting. All right, thank Congratulations you. Congratulations <laughs> again, Joe Torres, our no new problem. council. Right. I'm now with one of the fine people of Pete Skill, Leesta Brown. She's like me. Occasionally, when I'm away from my TV show, I'm a uh, advocate for the people, and I feel you go to city council meetings because you want to see the best for Pete Skill. What do you think of what happened today in Peatskill, Ms. Brown? I think that they're going to work together. I'm proud of both the, the existing council and the new incoming council members, and I hope that their p uh, pledge of collaboration is true. You, you know, you said there was a pledge of collaboration, but I didn't see collaboration today. Um, in spite of saying they wanted unity, they picked who they wanted for judge, and they also did not pick the deputy mayor that the mayor wanted, and never in the history of Peatskill did that happen. Before. Well, in the last six years, they violated the charter. Up, They just okay. shredded the charter. But, Ms. Brown, we don't want to get political today, but, but we, it's a great day for Peatskill. It's a great day for Peatskill. I'm proud of Peatskill, and, and I'm going to step out on faith and think that it's all going to work and out. let's pray they all work together it's gonna for the work. I believe they are. Of all of us. God bless Thank you, you. Ms. Happy Brown. New Year. This has been a great day in Peatskill. I'm closing out the George On Deck show. We've been on location at the Elks Club of Peatskill, and it's been a celebration for Frank Catalina, the mayor of Peatskill, who was just elected, and the council. 
and it was jointly celebrated by Democrats as well as Republicans. And I hope as a citizen of Pete Skill, not only a host of this show, that both parties can work together for the betterment of all of the people of Pete Skill. With that, my viewers, I wish you all a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. This is George Ondek signing off the latest edition of the George Ondek Show. Thank you and good night.